Are you with the previous lady's husband? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Mike Fusco. I've been a law enforcement officer for about 30 years. Um, it's amazing to me that I actually have to be here to even talk about this. I took an oath to the Constitution. I'm sure you all did. How can we even be talking about this? You have a right to carry arms. I, I don't think you're giving people, civilians, I'm not here talking as a police officer, I'm talking here talking about a civilian. You're not giving them credit. They went through a lot of stuff to get their pistol permits. For the, I'm also a safety instructor, by the way, uh, for hunting. Uh, I don't know if you think we're just all nuts and we just want to go around shooting people or what, but I, I just don't get this. I don't understand why I have to be here to even talk about this. We're not, you're not giving citizens of the United States enough credit that they're not nuts. They went through these things to be able to carry a gun. They shouldn't be able to carry a gun. If you don't want to carry a gun, don't, fine. You know, you want to be a sheep for slaughter, that's fine with me. But I, I just don't understand this. And as far as this, uh, given a safety course in the library, well, my lawyer just passed his law, you have to have the safety courses. So what, what, now you're telling people you can't have them? I, you know where I had my safety course, Finn? I had it in the high school when I, 1978 in Enfield. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Really? Now we can't, oh, that's a bad thing? You can't teach that? That's crazy. You want to teach gun safety. That's what it's all about. I, I'm just, I, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. And I've been doing this 30 years. I think every civilian should be able to carry a gun, no matter where it is, to be honest with you. But I, I just had to say my two cents. And by the way, babe, if you remember downtown, that guy came at me, was it down in the car? I was carrying that day. That guy came at me, I had to call the police department to come down here and get him. Wasn't drinking, we weren't at bars or anything like that. We were sitting in a car talking and the guy's knocking on my window. I told him I was a cop, get away. And he stood there, he stood there, he stood there. It was just last year. And I had to call the police department to come down there to take care of it. I mean, you should have a right to protect yourself. That's all I'm saying. That's all I got to say. speak against this ordinance. Um, kind of got me all flustered. <laughs> um, kind of to dispel a previous statement, <clears throat> when I go into a courtroom, uh, there are armed guards there. So I don't feel the need that I need to protect myself in a courtroom or federal building. Um, when I go out and about in the town, um, I usually have my husband on my arm and nobody's gonna mess with me with my husband on my arm. He's a big guy. Uh, if I were to walk through the parks with my dog, he's a German Shepherd, and I kind of think that he would protect me, but he's a big baby, he'd take off the other <laughs> way. Um, really, as a woman, um, the equalizer is to be able to carry a weapon to protect myself. And um, I've heard it said in the news that to protect myself maybe from a rapist, maybe I should wet myself or throw up on myself, but I'd rather carry a weapon. So um, I just want you to keep that in mind and just preserve our Second Amendment rights. Thank you. Thank you.